Okay, let's go back in here real quick. That's the elevator. Oh, we didn't go this way. Who's the sexy redhead? Hey, hello. What is this place? Ah, a new face. You're in the Moonlight Motel. Hmm. Doesn't look like a motel to me anymore. Who are you and all these people? My name's Alice. Oh, hey, we actually got somebody with a name. And these people, well, it wouldn't make sense for me to list names, right? Good point. I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I am. Uh, you're not alone there. It's like an endless loop. A loop? What do you mean? Uh, we've been stuck in here for an eternity already, or so it feels. But this place is not too shabby when you make the decision to stay. Okay, so the shrink asked me if I wanted to stay. I said no. But she wants to stay? She doesn't want to go back to life? Is that what I'm getting? Don't you want to leave? Well, some of us tried to leave once, but the only way out is through the riddle. So we worked together to try to solve the riddle, but there was too many of us. People turned against each other. Sounds about right. We decided to bury it all and try to get along. Things are better now. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I follow. Silly me, let me explain. When we first arrived, a man with a red tie and a pale face appeared. He said we were his guests and we could stay as long as we wanted. However, he also told us that we are all free to leave, but not without consequences. Consequences? What do you mean? Try to leave. Ah, uh, the riddle. At first we liked it here. But after some time, days began to feel the same and, not, and the same conversations with the same people. Nothing ever changed. That's when our frustrations started to show. At the time, it felt like our last effort together, we decided to solve the riddle. This place was already driving us mad, but it was too late for that. The scar was already there, and we were too stubborn to forget. It felt like a miracle that we were all still in good terms. It still does. Besides, I'm not sure that any of us really wanted to leave for the unknown. Why? We don't know what's beyond. It feels safe in here. And that riddle, I think it wouldn't have been too hard to solve. To my understanding, the meaning of it is more symbolic than anything. Quite a story. Say, you don't happen to have anything related to that riddle. Actually, I do. Not sure... Uh, not sure why you need it, but here, take it. Thank you. My name's Jacob, by the way. Uh, it was nice chatting. I have to get going. Goodbye, Jacob. Okay, what'd she give us? A piece of paper with patterns on it. Instructions, maybe? Hmm. Oh, we can still go in here, even though it's out of order. Um, let's do nothing with this for now. This is a toilet. You gotta pee? No? Alright, so we'll wait on that, because I'm sure there's more to that, and I don't want to just screw it. Up, so have I always had that white spot on my shirt I don't remember that being there <laughs> let me in the ladies room okay so this must be the pattern let me see left corner bottom left corner It looks like a rail for something. I can't do anything with it? Can I do something with that weird thing that guy gave me? This, yeah. Insert the piece. Yes. So do I need three of those then? Like, can I move it? I wonder if I go over to the men's and turn the... Turn this. If it will turn the ring. So let's turn it to the right. I think something moved. Okay, so let's go over here. It did move, okay. 
that's one of the places, but not... No. So maybe one more to the right. I'm assuming that we're going to need all three pieces um, to make this work. I just want to kind of get an understanding of what's going on here. Uh -huh. It's in the right spot now. So let's see if I can do something with it. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's continue on, see what we can do. Can I jump? I mean, not that I really need to at this point. It's kind of odd. Psst. Hey, you, come over here. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Sorry I called you like that. It's okay. What do you have in mind? Uh, have you noticed that red-haired lady hanging around in the lounge? Yeah, I noticed her. Why? Well, it's a bit awkward. Well, call me again if you can spell it out. I'm a dick. I love her. I've been wanting to talk to her, but I don't know how. You look like a man who knows his way around women. Well, I don't consider myself a ladies' man, but what did you have in mind? Uh, I want you to get me a date with her. Uh, I don't think I'd want to go out on a date with a guy that wouldn't ask me himself. Uh, now, before you refuse to listen, I have something. You'll need it if you're ever going to leave this motel. Huh? Uh, why don't you use it yourself and leave? Well, this piece alone is not enough. Besides, this, there is this lovely lady. Fair enough, you mentioned I will need more than just one piece to get out. What was that about? Well, this one tells some kind of riddle. You need to collect all the pieces and solve the riddle, and I'm not sure, though. The man with the red tie told us this. He said we needed all the pieces if we ever wanted to leave. He added that we could stay as his guest, but also mentioned the twisted darkness that would befall us if we were to leave. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Uh, is there another way out? I'm afraid not. This is the only way. Uh, once we tried to solve the riddle with the residents, um, that didn't end well. Hmm. I don't get it. That man obviously does not want us to leave. Why give us a chance? Yes, I've been thinking about that. I think it's our damnation. While there's hope we push through, fighting the pain only to deceive ourselves. But without hope, what's left? Only pain and despair. So let's cut to the chase. What do you want me to do? I've written a letter to her, but there's something I want to include. I'm listening. A red rose. Classic. Where could I find one? Uh, that's the thing. I swear I saw a rose somewhere. You just need to look around. Okay, well, I'll get back to you once I found it. Thanks. Why, why am I like Aaron, bitch? I don't, I don't think I feel good about that. Uh, please don't tell the red-haired woman any of this. <laughs> like, you can at least find your own damn rose. This fountain is really fucking loud. So I'm assuming that he's got another one of those circle pieces. Um, and that must also be what's in that vault. Here's a gramophone, so let's go ahead and save before shit gets sketchy. Hmm. It made me slow down to pass him, but wouldn't let me talk to him either. So that's kind of weird. I think it... What's going on? It just kicked me out of the game. Ah, uh, do you want to turn on? No. Rude. Um. Oh, yeah, that's the nice. My shrink. Can't go any further that way. Turn around. 
Good boy. All right. There's got to be more to this room. So let's go back in here and see what we got. I wonder if I turn this light off, if it turns off all the lights in the hotel. No. I had the code, but I just can't remember where. Okay. There's got to be a reason I can turn the light off. Six nine six. That actually was not that hard. Oh shit. Six nine six. You got it open? Yeah. Finally, I can see a picture of my family. That's all I have. Here, uh, take this. Maybe you could charm someone special like I once did. Uh, no problem. Thanks. Oh, yeah, and the code is 696. Yeah, have to write it up. Thanks, pal. No problem, bro. Okay, won't let me get back in the safe, so out we go. That's kind of sweet, though, that he was, like, freaking out so much about just getting his picture of his family back. All right, so let's get, go give douche, douche man uh, his rose. Okay. Talk to him, come on. You can do it, there we go. Did you find it? Yeah. Ooh, exciting. Now, I'll just slip the rose petals in and seal it. <laughs> Glad it's sorted out. May I have my reward now? Uh, I was kind of hoping you would give this letter to her and tell her, you know, that she has my, has an admirer. Really? I mean, really. Uh, to hell with it. I'll give the letter to her. Yes. Once you deliver the letter, come back to me for your reward. Trust me, I will. Why do I have a feeling he's not going to be here when I come back? I'm supposed to give you give her the letter, but I'm sure I can put this to better use. What the hell would I? <laughs> what would I want with it, anyway? So okay, let's unequip it and talk to her and see. Hey Alice. Hey Jacob. Sorry to ask, but how did you end up in here? You tell me. I only have fragments of the past, if they're even real memories. It's hard to explain. There's no clear image of things, only strong feelings. Uh, I can see pitch black night and something sparkling in the air. Then everything turns twisted in the blink of an eye and my heart skips a beat. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Then comes the warmth. It feels as if I'm nothing more than a spirit. I try to reach higher, but instead I wake up in here. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Maybe it's for the best that I don't dig deeper. Might be. I need to go. Take care of yourself. You too. I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with the letter if I'm not supposed to give it to her. Should I just go back to him and tell him that I gave her the letter? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can give it to the... <clears throat> Sorry. Maybe I can give it to the woman that is... Okay. And what was, what I was saying before my keyboard shit out on me. Um, the, the woman that is standing in front of the door with the valuable item or whatever in it. 
which I'm assuming is the piece to the riddle that we need. Um, I'm gonna give her, see if I can give her the letter. Why does it keep doing this to me? No, go away. Um, where am I? Okay. And see if maybe that'll get her to walk away from the door. A delivery for you, ha. Huh? That's what I thought. What's this, a letter? Hmm, let's see, what's it say? Love? Together for eternity? Uh, cheesy. Sorry, did you say something? No, 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 that's my throat. <coughs> uh, say, who is this mystic gentleman? It's that guy that hangs around at the fountain. Bartholomew Fitzjoffrey? Uh, sounds like our guy. <laughs> oh, thank you for delivering this. No worries. Um, do you think you could guard this door for a little while? Well, I'm not in a hurry now, so why not? But promise me you won't enter the room. Oh, I would never. <laughs> Thanks, I'll be back soon. So sneaky, sneaky. In we go. There's a letter. Uh, my name's Lisa. I feel insecure. I'm writing this letter. Huh. That's all there is. Oh, there's the ring we need. It's a piece of- <gasps> Oh, shit! Oh, holy fuck, that scared me. I'm losing it. Whew. Oh, fuck me. So, should I walk away? Can I walk away? I mean, I, there's no reason to guard the door anymore because I took the... Hey fellas, can't you play anything else? I beg you. I've delivered the letter. Great, how'd she take it? No wait, don't say. As promised, here, take this. Thanks, I'll get going now. Enjoy the wrong lady. I mean, she's pretty too, so it's fine. Come on. All right, so. We need to have one in the upper corner, the bottom corner, and the middle. So. Let's go over here and remove this one. Because I have a feeling that once we put in one piece and we turn the crank in the other room, it's going to move all three. So this one has to go the furthest. So we're going to have to do a little bit of running back and forth. Make sure my assumption is right that they all move the same wire. This might be a nightmare. Okay, cool. So then we'll go ahead and put this one in. Yes. Oh, it's in the same spot. That's super. I didn't expect that. Okay. So should I go ahead and put it in here? I really didn't expect that. So maybe it doesn't move if there's not a piece in it? Okay, so let's go back over and check. I wish there was a better way to get in between these rooms. Okay, so this one's in the right spot, so let's go ahead and remove this. And then we should be able to turn it one more time and then put all the pieces back in. Otherwise, I don't know how to reset the puzzle, so. Okay, 
yep, that one's in the right spot. So that one's in the right spot. And hi. How are you? You. Yes, it is me, sir. So he's the bartender. Uh, what the hell's going on? Who are you? Calm down, sir. I'm your friend. Listen, sir. You can't trust anyone. They're only here to confuse you. Enough games. What is this place and who are these people? This place cannot be explained in words. And these people? They're malicious, sir. Scum, if you don't mind me saying. I'm not buying that. I know you trap these people here. I have not trapped anyone. Besides, they are all free to leave. You knew right from the start that they could never leave. That was never in my hands but theirs. So they had a choice and they chose not to use it. So what now? I solved your stupid riddle. My riddle? You don't understand, sir. How could I? I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand. Wait. I'm sorry, sir. I understand it's all so confusing. I can't explain the meaning of all this, but I can show you the path you must travel. I must warn you, sir. The road is filled with suffering and terror. Are you ready, sir? Um, <laughs> should we say yes? Like, I want to say no, uh, so I can go save and come back. Let's do that. Let's say no. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, let's go save and come back. Ladies. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. Should I move? What's he doing? This is weird. What the fuck is going on? 